I'm Wi-Fi Skinner and this is all deaf music. Boot it up, boot it up, boot it up. Basically how I came up with the name Wi-Fi's Funeral it started off as a group with me and my DJ DJ Scheme. We were originally rapping together and how we met was through his best friend committing suicide. So that's where the funeral part comes into play. And then um, Wi-Fi just because we just wanted to be like worldwide, you know what I mean? Just global, everybody listening to us. It's just Wi-Fi's funeral, you know what I mean? Mama gave birth, I was coded. Yeah, I need the four, I need the I mean, it was really important. My brain process and my thought process was like really different from a lot of other kids. So music was the only thing that didn't like help me do all that extra shit that I would have probably did. So music plays a big part of my life. I probably wouldn't be like half of the man that I am without music in my life. Okay, now I say like, what to do you know me, homie? I started rapping when I was seven years old. That's when I wrote my first 16 ever. I didn't start releasing music online until I was probably like 11 on MySpace. Talking like I'm not about where I'm from, but Palm Beach can say a thing or two. I don't try too much to sound like I'm from Florida just because I just want to be different. I don't want to try to sound like I'm like not from anywhere. I just want to sound completely different to begin with. But it definitely inspires me to stay unique and stay creative just because like there's nothing but like beauty like all around it, honestly. Nothing solidified yet, but an idea of who I would like to have on my tape. I like to have Metro, Nav, Cardi. I really want to do some shit with either the standard or just Corbin as a by himself. But if I could get the standard, like Alon Kingdom, Corbin, and Bobby Raps all like back together to do a song with me, I, I want to do some shit with them like really bad. We just signed a deal with Interscope at Alamo Records. And um, I, I, I told my fans that I wouldn't sign unless like I knew a label that creatively and just as a whole so supported everything that I do and give me 100% creative control. And that's what Interscope and Alamo were able to do, just give me 100% creative control. Shout out Tom Moskowitz, love that nigga, man, great person. And um, yeah, it's just nothing but up from here on out. We just, we finally have the opportunities to uh, make bigger and better music, and that's all I really wanted. Danny Towers and Chris DeNiro, just because of the simple fact, like, they up next. Like, not even just out of Florida, just in general. They completely different. They up next. Last year, I was broke as fuck. Only had, like, three shows and only, like, ten people came. But this year, I've been fucking busy like crazy. Like, I, I barely got any fucking sleep. My voice feels like it's about to go out. So I'm productive. That's all I really care about. Real niggas ten toes, never flagging, homie. Keep it low, cause you know 12 watching, and I'm never lacking, no big paper counting. Cause I need that check, I need that wallet. For all deaf music, I'm Wi-Fi Spino here at all deaf south by southwest.